Angus beef is more expensive than any other type of beef because it has high quality and the stringent standards for marbling and texture are perfect. And they are originated from Scotland and then grow here in United States for better quality. Angus beef has excellent marbling. Marbling is the uh, little white flags, you know, like little fats that scatters around throughout the cut of beef. And then it, it makes the beef taste very good. And it has tenderness and the texture and flavor are excellent. It's really a good quality of beef. I put the Angus beef in the Pyrex plate and thaw them. After they are thawed, and I pour milk all over them and soak it for about four hours. The milk is supposed to tenderize the beef more so it's gonna be it's really juicy and tender don't forget to season them with salt and pepper after being soaked for four hours Take them out and dry them in a paper towel. You can double dry them by putting double more paper towel. Pat, 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 pat them. Make sure we're gonna make all the beef dry because we're going to glaze them with the Korean barbecue sauce. We wanna make sure that the sauce will sap into the meat without the water in it. Okay, let's prepare the pan and brush it with oil and put the meat on the pan. Then flip the meat around and after a while flip it again, after a while flip it again, make sure they're cooked without burning the meat. Oops, I burned it a little bit but that's okay, just a little bit though. You see how nice it is, just brown and not burning it so much. We're gonna prepare the rice now. We use cold roast rice. It's from California. It's a really high quality rice, mostly used for making sushi. Cal Rose Rice, a California tradition. Hooray! Since I'm just gonna make one plate of dinner, I'm going just to use one cup of rice. Look at how nice the grain is. It's a short grain rice. and pour about two cups of water. I wanna make sure that it's gonna be sticky enough to make 
shaped in the mold. And pour the water into the rice in the rice cooker. Hooray! Now the rice is gonna cook itself in the rice cooker. Good for me! Let's clean up the summer squash zucchini. Okay, now let's boil the zucchini a little bit. I don't want to be overcooked because I don't want to be too mushy. Clean up the asparagus and we're going to boil it a little bit too because I don't want it to be too mushy. Just cut the end of it a little bit. Now the water is boiling. Put down the asparagus inside the boiling water together with the zucchini for a little while. Cut off the both ends of it. Then split them into two lengthwise because I want to use them as a support system in the plating decoration. You see, I'm an artist, a painting, a painter, and a sculptor, so I always think about how to construct it. Okay, let's take care of the Angus beef now, the star of the show. You see, guys, I'm sewing the one side of the part of the beef, the two, I put them together into a, a needle and a thread. The thread will be tied together so they will be tied on one side. is because I want the two pieces of meat to be up vertically. Okay, the two beefs are tied together on one side now. The rice is cooked in the rice cooker. This is the Korean barbecue sauce that I'm going to use. Put some of the sauce in a little bowl and then glaze the meat with the sauce inside and out. We already cooked the meat, right? So we just glaze them with the sauce now.
Okay, let's put it aside for now. Time to prepare the rice. Put it into the bowl. We're gonna uh, mold the rice inside the bowl for plating decoration. Okay, let's cross my finger now. Let's hope the mold of rice will turn out good. Yay! It turns out great! Put the zucchini on top of the rice and put the meat in between it. I'm gonna use this chili sauce and the barbecue sauce for making decoration around the plate. Guys, sorry to tell you the truth. I had to use the raw asparagus because the cooked asparagus won't stay up like that. So raw asparagus is good for salad too, right? As long as everything is edible here, right? Well, except for the thread, of course. And you can just pull the thread out from the meat and throw it away. Thank you. There you are guys, a nice looking dinner. Angus beef sirloin steak in Korean barbecue sauce dinner. Enjoy.